Hey everyone! So I am doing a haul. Um, hopefully the video before this will be up. If not, check out my summer Cleopatra look. I don't know. I was in a fun weird mood when I made it. So I think it's unique. I think I did a good job. But we'll see. So go check it out. But that's not what today's about. Haul time! Because as most of you know by now, I work at Walmart for now. Two more weeks. Gone. I have so much to do. <sighs> Anyways, since I work at Walmart, I have access to makeup and a 10% discount, which is really not that great. But I have access to it nonetheless. So when I went in to get gum and an eyeshadow palette I wanted today, of course, I got way more than I should have. I know. But I just wanted to share everything I got with you. So, let's share the weird stuff first. And then I'll share, you, share with you the good stuff. This is item number one that I meant to get. And that's gum because I'm a gum fanatic. I buy them in three packs. And I have gum with me always, every day. Chew. When I was younger, I chewed gum so much that I would chew, put a piece in in the morning, chew it all day. Fall asleep with it all night in my mouth, wake up the next day, and continue chewing it. I actually, the thing that got me to not be as crazy with gum and addicted to it, even though I kind of am already crazy, the thing that made me kind of like chill and like learn to live without it, well, I like this face recognition, it's moving in the background for me. Anyways, um, the thing that got me to stop is I actually had to give it up for Lent to make myself not chew it as much. But yeah, gum. That's weird item number one. That's nothing to do with makeup, but it's my addiction. Just like makeup. My other addiction. This brand of sticky rice. It's amazing. I smother it in soy sauce and eat it with chopsticks and it makes my day. Annie Chen. There she is. Probably not her, but she posed for it. Rice Express. White sticky rice. Part of the reason why I love this is because it's pretty healthy, it's rice, until I add the soy sauce. But until then, it is just plain rice, so it's healthy, and it takes one minute to heat this up. And you have sticky rice. Which, at work, and being tired all the time, one minute, uh, cooking. It's my kind of cooking. And I'm just looking around here, and by the looks of things, I think I had a kitty cat on top of my dresser. So that means I have to close my door again. Awesome. Anyways, so there's my weird, those are my weird items. Find the stuff that you guys are actually here for. I'm sorry, I'm in a weird mood. I'm like exhausted. I saw Harry Potter in 3D yesterday, which was so awesome. I don't even want to get on that subject. It's just awesomeness. Um, and so I went to bed late. Um... But I'm just kind of like in this state of tired goofiness. Ah! So pardon. Pardon my tired goofiness. Okay. First thing. Um, as you guys have seen, I had that, that round tub for my nail polish. And I stick my finger in and rub it around. And the sponge inside takes off your nail polish. Well, I bought that so that I could buy one. And from then on, I want to take the nail polish that is left over inside scrub the sponge in it in the sink and see if I can clean out the sponge um, and, and once I try to get all the nail polish out of the sponge with the leftover nail polish remover I'm actually going to take soap and water to it and actually wash the sponge and then um, I'm going to put it in and rinse out the uh, container it comes in and then once it's all clean I'm going to pour this in it and try to reuse the sponge and see if that works um, because I don't want to keep on purchasing that and uh, what I showed you guys, I think in one of my videos, I don't know if I uploaded it or not, but I showed you guys, I was like, hey, look! When I did that, I spilled like half the contents out, and so since then, it hasn't um, taken my nail polish off as quick. Because, like, taking a damp sponge and doing this with the nails works, but having it, like, as you're doing this, being soaking in nail polish remover, so it continuously, like, eats, eats away at it, um, works better. So, yeah. Walmart equate brand 
Um, this has with vitamin E for for natural nails. It's nourishing nail polish. It says acetone. I managed to get non acetone. Poo. Oh, I'll still use it anyways. Because I, I, before I put my nail polish on, I wash my hands off anyways. That way it sticks. Let me get let me let my cat in. Okay. God forbid I have my door closed. My cats have to, you know, peek in and see what's going on. Um, so that's the first thing I got. Secondly, I am going, I'm 24, I'll be 25 next year. And from 25 on is when you start hitting 30. When you hit 30, you start getting all wrinkly and older looking. And I don't want that to happen. And I have breakout issues every once in a while. So I'm trying something, pardon me, huh. trying something new out. It's Ole Total Effects 7-in-1 Anti-Aging Concealer Refreshing Citrus Scrub. Bam. Hope you can not read that there. Let's get the whole glow. And it's huge. It's like the size of my nail polish bottle. It's huge. And it's 6.5 fluid ounces. And this is 6 fluid ounces, so it's, it's pretty big. Um, and the seventh, uh, okay, the seven things this is supposedly does for your skin is thorough cleaning, poor appearance reduction, which would be nice. Uh, brighten skin appearance, gentle exfoliation, smooth skin texture, won't over dry, and line appearance minimizing minimization, which is anti wrinkles. And my cat just left. He just wanted to come in and see what it was about. So yeah, I'm excited to try that out. Um, this next item was shopping list number two that I actually was shopping for. First was the gum, and then this. I heard someone talk about it. And it's Walking on Eggshells, a trio by um, Wet n' Wild. And they talked about it, and then they I mentioned how they like shimmy, shimmery eyeshadows. I'm like, ah, oh, I thought they were matte. Mm, I don't know if I want to get it now. But then Emily Noel, um, she was doing MAC dupes, and she found that these three were three separate MAC dupes. And I guess each MAC... Eyeshadow is fourteen fifty, so do the math. Fourteen fifty times three versus um let me tell you. Which one is this? Eight oh two two dollars and ninety seven cents. So fourteen fifty times three or just three dollars. Which one do you think is gonna be better? Um I don't have money to buy Mac, so if this is as close as you can get to a dupe being Mac, I'll take it. And um, oh, by the way, the this was ninety-seven cents. This was eight twenty-seven. This is at Walmart. And like I said, this was two ninety-seven. So basically, three bucks. So I'm not even going to attempt math right now. My mind is mush. So I'm actually going to do the math for you. Forty-three dollars and fifty cents is how much you'd spend for the, the three Max eyeshadows versus three dollars and then she said another another mac eyeshadow which is 14.50 again i forget the name of these eye eyeshadows i'll try to either link her video down below or i might actually try in this area which i'm probably going to fail but if i don't fail put her video in this area or her channel because i think that's the newest video put it right here so you can find it on her channel I hope I can learn how to link stuff right here. Um, but you can see all the, the what the three dupes are uh, of these, um, what Max she's duping from. One of the Max is a dupe from this shadow, this palette. And I actually have another Wet n Wild palette, the blue version of this, um, the eight eight color palette. She has a dupe in there as well. Um, but this is Petal Pusher. So one Mac eyeshadow, fourteen fifty. This whole palette that has eight colors, and one of them, which is this one, is the dupe, five dollars. So you get eight for five, you get one for fourteen fifty. And uh, this crease color here that looks really pretty and shiny and whatnot, right there. This color right here is a dupe for a Mac eyeshadow. So right now, I spent a total of eight dollars. This is eight dollars right here, and I got what? 
do the math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 eyeshadows. I got 11 eyeshadows for $8. You can get one Mac for $14.50. I think I won. Sorry, I'm really animated today. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about those. And I wanted to get the Petal Pusher one because I got the other two. If they're easy to access, I'll get them for you. I have to get the other one. It's somewhere. Um, this is one of them. This is Comfort Zone. And let me... Let me move this stuff out of the way and then I can get to the other one. I probably should have it up there. Anyways, this is the other one. It's Blue Had Me at Hello. And I believe it's this color right here. It's matte black. Um, she didn't compare it to um, Max Carbon. She didn't compare it. She thinks it's actually better. It's more pigmented. Um, and it is a gorgeous color. So she thinks it's actually um, better than Max uh, Carbon. So um, I was like, oh, got to try it. Um, and i got to do something with these today. But anyways, um, that was a random rant. Um, and I have three more things, and then I just have a little thing to say. So, the next thing I got was um, just another one of my face powders. Mine is pretty low. Let's see if I can grab it. And this is in Creamy Natural. And it's um, like a foundation... Uh, a, a powder foundation, but it's more like, um, it's more like, um, between a translucent powder and like a foundation powder. Um, and you see me guys using this one all the time. It's the same thing, Creamy Natural. And this is what it looked like before I just like tore into it. <laughs> Um, so I just got myself a backup because this one is, I've more than hit pan on it. Um, so I just wanted another one. Um, while I could, so I'll probably put this somewhere. I'll find out what I'm going to put later. And the last things I got, one of these, um, she added in her favorite. And her other favorite they didn't have. And I was going to get it too just to try it since they were her favorite. And I consider her a really good beauty guru. They had one. But this is, um, these are New York... NYC colors. Um, I think she's talked about this one or someone's talked about this one before, but I wanted to try it anyways. Um, but the first one is that, that she suggested. Um, it's in a New York color minute. Quick dry nail polish. And this is in Pros yeah, Prospect Park Pink. Say that. That's a tongue twister. Let me get close so you can focus. Prospect Park Pink. Here's the color. A really pretty pink. I gotta add it to my color wheel. Which I've been adding stuff to. Um, and. Oh, Jesus. I just realized, like, I think I got a broken one. I'm totally going to have to return this. Well, I'm going to go back and return this. Um, and get a new one. But this is Sidewalkers. And I just realized I got home. Bam. It's broken. So I'll have to get another one of these. Um, and, oh, the last thing I want to show you, and this is another random thing. They have these for a dollar at Walmart. A 1.5 liter of Mountain Dew. Not 2 liter, not a 1 liter, 1.5. And this is only a dollar. I kind of like Mountain Dew. It's kind of addictive. So, yeah. Um, and the last thing I want to say is I'm going to be going through my video, um, and then, uh, maybe Wednesday. The one where I showed you all my, um... LA color palettes and you had to pick which one you wanted me to do and the most votes on the palette would be the one that I did um, and I'm going to go through it real quick and just show you them again so you can go back to that video and you have to go to that video and um, vote what uh, palette you want me to do a look from this is palette number one uh, tea time palette number two teas palette number three Stormy. Palette number four, Tropics. And then palette number five is Tranquil. 
So, um, I wanted to do a look with these five palettes. Um, well, I mean, with one of these, yeah, with all five. I want to do a look with one of those five. Um, so, please just, uh, comment down below. Um, and another thing, I'm going to try to do a look with the Wet n Wild I just got, but I really want to try these before I forget. Um, the Revlon ones. Um, I might do another video of you guys telling me which one you want me to do a look from, uh, coming up. So that's two videos you can miss coming up. Um, then one probably from this palette. And then, I don't know what else is coming up. Some more stuff. Um, I just want to show you everything I did. I'm happy now. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace. Love. Samminess? <laughs> I don't know. Um, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So this is an extension of, um, my, my video I just did where I kind of signed off and was like, peace. Well, I lied. I'm not piecing out. I have something for you. First off, I went back to change the nail polish that broke that I really liked. And of course, Walmart being stupid like they are, didn't have it. So after I wrote it on my little wheel, I'm not going to have it. My little my nail, nail polish wheel. But I will get it. It's on that wheel. It's going to be on that wheel. It's a mission. So instead, I got this one. It's called... Central Park, which a nice, pretty, semi gorgeous color. I'm really hyper because if you can't tell by my glasses, I got a toy, but I really hope you like that. I'm going to show you the two other things I got, and then I'm going to get into the awesome toy. The other thing I got, because my I'm always working when the place is closed. They have this like salon there, um, Smart Styles, part of Walmart. They had... OPI um, nail polish there, like a whole bunch that I didn't realize, and they had the Pirates of the Caribbean one, which I can never go out and get it, or when I do go out, I forget about it, and it was buy one, get one half off, so I pulled, like, blah, 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 blah. I totally bought two. This one is Mermaid Tears, I believe, yes, bam, and this one is Skull and Gloss Bones. I wanted to get that one right. Two awesome colors. Let me show you the bottom so you can see the names. So, pretty awesome. I'm I'm stoked about those. Right now I'm stoked about, yeah, stoked about my new toy. It's totally a blowgun. <sighs> but... What's cool about it is it comes with these little ammos. Now what you do, you put them inside this little cartridge. See, it's like a six shooter. You put it in, you blow, this little button. It changes the barrel, so blow, change, blow, change, blow, change, blow, change. And you're like, like a couple darts at a time and blow a bunch of them at a time. The cool part about this, which is kind of why I wanted to get it besides the fact that it's a freaking blow gun and I could, it was on sale for $5 so I got this with the sweet glasses. Safety first. Um, $5. But what's cool is that I'm actually, you actually take out the chamber and then you soak this, these little, uh, the whole chamber with these little things in it in water. And it's going to soften them up. And this is basically kind of like a, a paper-based bullet. And basically what you're blowing once you add the water is pretty much like spitballs. And except, I mean, it's just paper. So um, you could use these outdoors and it would be totally fine because it's just paper. So it's biodegradable, which I really like. Because all those like, little darts and nerf things, when you go out in the woods and you shoot them, if you lose one, that doesn't biodegrade. Especially since part of it's like plastic. But this is completely biodegradable, and when it hits things, like I tried on my wall, it splatters and sticks. So, like, you hit a tree, and I'll be like, and stuck there. Um, I might do, I probably won't do a video demonstration, because I'll, I'll probably use these up before I remember to. But, um, my, my boyfriend's going to try this next, but I just thought it was awesome. 
put it in there, close it, blow, and reload. Awesomeness. Let me swing in the frame. Look at that. This sleek design and beauty weight with. You gotta have the. Uh, I sight. I don't think I can zoom. There we go. Anyways, that that made me happy more than <laughs> the nail polishes made me happy. But then I just tried this out, and so that's making me more happy right now. And I look ridiculous in these glasses. Ooh, and something really cool. I just found out how to work my zoom. So I'm back. No, I'm really close. Ah, wait, back it up. Back, back, back it up. Back. Okay, I'm being really weird now. Oh god, too much. Okay, so I know this is like randomness at the end of the video, but I really wanted to show you this blowgun and the nail polishes I got. Even though I wanted the other one, I got three amazing ones. Well, two amazing and then one, I don't know if it's amazing because I haven't tried it, but I've seen swatches of the other ones. And I got some bullets. So I'm a, I'm a happy camper right now. But I'm going to end my video with this because it's been like five more minutes and I'm going to try to cut out some of the other stuff. If I can, but I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry the video is going to be like uber long, but this was like of epicness important that you saw my awesome blowgun. I'm still a kid at heart. What can I say? Um, so I got to go load this up for my boyfriend to try now. I will talk to all you cool cats later. And sorry I'm such a dork today, but that's how I feel. Bye, guys.